Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and spending a little part of your day with me. Today I've got a familiar box to share with you. It is Fruit for Thought, but just in case you've never heard of it, Fruit for Thought is a very unique concept. Basically every month there is a fruit or a different food that the box is themed around so everything in it will be in that flavor or scent or color so it's always really really fun sometimes there's a combination of flavors so there was one month recently that was lemon and lavender this month's box is blueberry garden so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what we've got now this box is $39.99 per month plus $5.95 in shipping and I was one of the last holdouts of the mini box that used to be $31.99 but Pam was kind enough to kind of upgrade me for my remaining months on my current subscription so I will be able to show you the full box and what you would get so usually there's a difference of like one item so we're looking for the one item that wouldn't have been in the mini box to be around the value of what that difference is between those two subscriptions so one was $31.99 and then this one is $39.99 so we're looking at something that's about 20% of the box right so eight dollars out of that 40 so we'll see what we've got and if you guys would like to subscribe to fruit for thought Pam was also kind enough to give me a discount code to share with you guys so it's just Noel 10 when you're checking out and that will actually save you 10% on your first fruit for thought and next month's box that she is already selling is going to be watermelon themed so I am super duper excited for that one let's get into it though it just comes in a nice simple white box which is great I'm super glad that they don't spend a ton of money on the shipping um, she Shipping is very expensive for these box companies to begin with. And then inside, we've just got some lavender tissue paper. I was kind of expecting it to be blue, but this is sort of her signature Grogane ribbon with the little fruits on it. Um, so it just says fruit scented, flavored, and colored gifts, like I was saying. So looking for a lot of kind of deep blues. I haven't had any blueberries yet this season. Let me know if you guys have. So here we go. So there is that color that I was looking for, but we've got some other colors in here as well. So let's see what the card says. So here is this beautiful image of a basket of blueberries. Those do look delicious. And then on the back, it does tell us what is in the box. There are not uh, retail values. You guys know that I like to have retail values, but I guess her focus is really more so the curation. You're always gonna get at least your $40 worth, your $39.99. I'm usually looking for a value a little bit above what I've paid for the box, so you'll have to tell me what you guys think about the value once we get into it and see all of the different items. So right on top, it's very helpful, so it does tell us what was not in the mini box, and it is some fabric and flower emery boards. So I don't see those right away, but I will, I will hold them up and show you once we get to them. What I am seeing on top is this tropical eye patch by Coach star and it is in acai berry which is interesting to me because certainly the color is on on theme with blueberries but it is an acai berry versus a blueberry so let's see what it says though about this it just says uh, acai berry tropical soft hydrogel eye patches will pamper you like you're at the spa so that's nice now the next thing I'm seeing looks like a little cosmetic bag and that's interesting to me because it is uh, not blue at all, doesn't have any blueberries on it. It does have some like springy flowers and like a little yellow hummingbird. I guess this is the garden aspect of the theme. Um, it's pretty, pretty liberal in that interpretation. This is by Mikkel Design Works, which we've gotten some stuff from them before. So let me just open it up, kind of a peachy. So it is kind of like that material that you could wipe clean, so definitely be good as a, a little makeup bag in your purse. It's not really my style, so I'll probably pass that on to someone else just because I have a ton of different cosmetics bags from all of the subscription boxes that I get, which is not, not a surprise, probably. So let's see what it says about this. I am trying to look for it. It says, we fell in love with this Posies design that will add a playful touch when you use your zippered cosmetic bag by Mikkel Design Works. So again, I'll show that to you. Um, I don't feel like it really fits in with the blueberry garden theme, I guess, like I said, garden theme, but not even in color, but that's all right. Cute item. Let's see what else we got. 
So here are those emery boards by Vintage & Co. I'm just pulling off some of the extra paper shred. It's really gotten itself inside of everything, so I'll have to work on that a little bit more. Wow. Um, so it looks, this is a cute little package if you ever need a handle to carry your emery boards, but um, it's just some nail files and it's kind of fun because there's three of them in a row you can see, but it's all creating like one like triptych image. Um, I don't use a lot of this kind of emery board. I usually use like a metal nail file. Um, so again, this is probably something I'll pass on to someone else. It definitely goes with the little cosmetics bag, even though these look like they're too long to actually fit in that cosmetics bag, but it's definitely going with the spring garden. I almost feel like this is more of a spring garden themed box than it is a blueberry box so far because we haven't really actually gotten any blueberry themed things yet let's see what it says this like I said is the thing that is not in the retired mini box so for eight dollars more you got this emery board set um, not sure what the retail value on this would have been but it probably is something that I would have been okay with not getting if I was still on the mini box subscription, but I get, I am very grateful, very thankful that she did upgrade me so that I could show you guys the full box and what you would receive. So it just says three fab fabric, fabric and flowers emery boards, one for the handbag, car and desk to make chip nails history by McArdle and company. So it just says that their Instagram handle is actually white ginger life, which is very different. Um, and this actually says that it's, it says by McArdle and co, but on here it says vintage and co. So it sounds like they have a bunch of different uh, company names. So it's just saying it's three double-sided nail files with different designs on reverse. Um, so kind of fun. So it's not, they're not actually fabric. It's just like the pattern is a fabric pattern is what it sounds like to me. Um, even though they're described as fabric and flower emery boards. All right, so let's keep going. Here is finally something that is actually blueberry. And one of the fun things about Fruit for Thought, which is probably not surprising, is there, use, there is usually a treat. And often the treat in the full box was a little bit fancier than the one in the mini box. So I am, again, happy to be upgraded. So this is just by Welch's, familiar brand. And they are some fruit and yogurt snacks. So these kind of remind me of the power berries that you can get um, that are actually acai berries that you can get at Trader Joe's. And I do like them if they are... Um, similar. So it says there are four servings in this container and each of those servings is only 110 calories, which sounds like pretty healthy for a nice, nice little sweet snack. So let's see what it says about this. Enjoy low fat Welch's fruit and yogurt snacks, creamy yogurt covered blueberries as this month's treat. So happy to have that. So far, that's my favorite item in the box, which shouldn't surprise those of you who watch my channel for a while. I always love the things that are edible. So this is cool. And this is actually a much bigger pack than I was expecting. So I'm very excited about this. This is by Revele and this is uh, with some blueberry but also some acai. So maybe this is like a acai and blueberry and garden themed box. Um, these are 60 makeup remover wipes. So that is pretty awesome that we got that big of a package. Um, and it just says that it is with acai, goji, blueberry, and raspberry. So maybe she could have done like a berry themed box and had like a little bit more leeway in terms of the theming. So it is pretty, pretty significant in size you probably wouldn't want to take this on vacation as your like travel pack you'd want a smaller one than that but i do appreciate how big it is also whenever you like carry the, those like wipe packs like that um tsa is always very suspicious uh because apparently it looks like c4 <laughs> all right so let's see what it says about these awesome makeup remover wipes see, it says use 60 revelay makeup remover wipes to easily remove makeup dirt and oil at the end of the day enjoy the berry scents formulated with essential oils which clean hydrate and moisture Moisturize. So I like makeup remover wipes even though I don't use a ton of makeup just because they're so quick and easy So I'm very happy to have this and I'm excited that they might have a nice berry scent to them So for me, even though they're very practical uh, This is kind of like the hero item of the box, which is awesome and definitely they were very heavy So I'm definitely getting my worth in shipping. So let's see. I think we have a couple more items there's just foozles flying everywhere. Here's a little pamphlet that I think goes with these, which are little um, soap packets. So it looks like we got four of them. So I'll just show you that. And let's see what it says about this. 
So these are four packets of soak wash, eco-friendly, no rinse formulation, perfect for your laciest lingerie, softest sweaters, baby clothes, quilts, swimwear, workout wear, and anything else. Scented with spring blossoms with sweet bergamot for a light yet alluring fragrance. So kind of a purpley, um, packaging but not blueberry so it definitely is more in the garden side of the theme of the box but these are very useful for travel whereas this big hefty package of makeup remover wipes would be a little bit much for travel these i love to have not just for washing your delicates and hand wash items at home which i'm really bad about doing because it just takes a long time i usually like put things on the delicate cycle and take my chances. But these are great for when you're traveling, even if it is something like a t-shirt, just because then you have this like one wash in the sink, you can do it, you can hang stuff dry, and um, they're very, very useful. So I've never actually used this brand. I'm very much looking forward and this to, to trying it out. And this is by, it says modern, oh, it just says Modern Laundry Care is the little pamphlet and it tells you all about these different soak products. So it's glad, I'm glad that we have this little info sheet to go with it and maybe just having these um, and my curiosity will, will inspire me to actually take the time to hand wash some of the things that we're supposed to hand wash. All right, so finally we've got a, another actual blueberry item, which is cool. A weatherproof vinyl sticker. <laughs> it's just three little blueberries and if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you know that I get a lot of stickers and I have no idea what to do with them. Uh, I'm glad that this is weatherproof but I'm not one to put things like on my car or anything that actually needs to be weatherproofed and this is like cute but this is again one of those like little items that I feel like I want to know how much the retail value on this is because it just seems like a little extra like bonus thing and I'm hoping that it doesn't contribute a lot to the total value of the box but let's just go over everything that we got um so we got the emery boards so this is worth 20 percent of our box because this is the thing that was not in the mini box we got the awesome Revele makeup removers which i'm super like i said excited to have that big size package we got this little makeup bag which is pretty small and not really my style but definitely cute and it does go with the emery boards that won't actually fit in it we did get uh these Acai berry eye patches, which I need to be a little bit better about trying to use my eye masks and face masks, but that one looks kind of fun. Then we got the cute little sticker, which I'm not sure what to do with it, but it is adorable. We also got the four packs of soak, uh, eco-friendly uh, soap so that you can do your delicates and your hand wash items and then finally we got the amazing snacks which I haven't even tried them and I believe that they are amazing because they look amazing and they sound amazing so just going over that I feel like again it's another box from fruit for thought that is just right there for me at actually getting my money's worth getting that $40 value it's not much more um, and then in terms of curation which again is really how I always like sort of um, evaluate a box the value and then the curation I feel like maybe this theme could have be, been reworked a little bit because there's not actually that many items that are blueberry so we got yes the blueberry snacks we got yes the blueberry sticker which is kind of just an extra thing for me yes there's some blueberry in these makeup remover wipes but again it's pretty light on the blueberry theme then we also got the acai berry eye masks, which are the right color. Same thing with the soak um, detergent, it's the right color. So I guess it technically counts. And then these are just sort of in the like garden theme. So I think that the theme could have been a little bit more cohesive. I do like that most of the items um, except for the little sticker are actually useful ones that I could probably take advantage of and, and use and not just have sort of sitting on my shelf. They're not little like tchotchkes, so that is great. Let me know what you guys think about this month's Fruit for Thought, and if you are excited to get in on the watermelon theme, like I said, you can save 10% using my code. She's already done some spoilers over on Instagram, and I'm, like I said, I'm just so excited about a watermelon theme. I love watermelon. It just screams summer to me, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting that one. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.